is a video um, about uh, my tiger carving here. Um, this is probably my second best carving, uh, if not my best. It is a absolute masterwork. It is like, to me, uh, like a Wangshishir kind of orchid pavilion thing where it just is created by the artist and he just carves it and it just happens to come out so absolutely wonderfully and the pinnacle of an art and um, you can see all the views are the view no matter which direction is really interesting um, it is just absolutely magnificent um, the stone um, is a gray stone with um, like kind of stripe like uh, clear striping in it um, you can see just a little bit of it here um, runs through it uh, it um, it, it just I, I find it to be just uh, an absolutely amazing stone it would be a prize in anybody's collection um, it requires someone to actually look at the art and not just like a wow you know like it's not like one of these big elaborately carved things this is just uh amazing and um if you look at the um the the tiger stripes here let me see if i can focus in on it um they um actually you can see how each line that he carves creates two or three lines and uh, you can see the, the, the stripes catch the, the light as it shifts around. It's wonderfully dynamic. Um, the, the stone is just uh, just an absolutely amazing. I mean, the, the spiral composition of the tiger and its repose. It's just, and the look on its face. Um, it's just, you know, it's the pinnacle of, of this art form. And... Um, this this is the kind of stone that like i said it's, it's very easy to overlook and and people can just go pass it by with you know and that's the, the the process of these stones you have to look into them you have to look at what is going on with the stone you know looking into the, the inside the stone material or inside what the carver is trying to do and the stone was beautifully efficiently carved um as you can see in these um these uh, stripes here, we try to focus in on, on, on them. And uh, you can see that there are several lines for each and it gives that full effect of um, stripes. But I it just, um, the, the stone has great presence. Um, it's carved in the late seventies. And then on top of that, um, the seal engraved in the bottom is also high-end masterwork. Um, I love it when the um, carver just quickly writes something and um, and then they just do it by hand. I mean, that's just absolutely amazing to me. Um, you can see, they didn't even have like a, a working piece. They just drew it right on and then carved it. And uh, it's just... <laughs> I'm just uh, boggled by the, the quality of this stone. Um, remember, these stones require you to look, not only investigate with your mind, but also your heart. And, you know, just because a carving looks cool doesn't make it that great, you know? Um, I mean, this is a, a gray, opaque stone. Um, but it just, you know, it's has these stripes in it that go throughout the stone and it just kind of echoes the stripes of the tiger and uh it's just uh a real masterwork <laughs> i'm just in awe and i feel very fortunate to own something like this and this is one of those things i will never sell and uh, i can imagine like it's being found in like some archaeological site five thousand years from now this would be at home in any museum and uh it's just that powerful and that amazing 
and um, I mean, look, <laughs> I just love the tigers, like, like, uh, kind of half grin. It, it's just, it's just phenomenal. And uh, well, stay tuned for more videos and uh, investigate with your mind and your heart. Thank you.